Our final lecture on project decision rules is the profitability index. So this is our fourth and final rule that we're going to cover for this class. And profitability index is used largely when you have capital constraints. So in other words, you have a constrained budget or you have a resource constraint. So you're trying to rank your projects by the bang for the buck. So our goals here. We're going to identify the PI rule and describe when we can use it. We're going to calculate a sample problem and rank some projects. So like I said, it's useful when we have a budget constraint or resource constraints. This could be things such as manpower or machine hours that we can use or money. Right? So we need to calculate sort of a ratio. It's basically the benefit of the project divided by the cost. So a typical way to calculate the PI ratio is we just take the present value of the project cash flows and we divide by the cost of the project or the resources used. When we have a budget constraint, we take the present value of the benefits or years one through n and divide by the initial cost. Now notice when we do this, the initial cost would be, we put it in as a positive. So we would accept if the PI is greater than 1. So in other words, the value in today's dollars exceeds the cost today. And what we do is we'd rank the projects from high to low and select the project with the highest PI. If I was constrained by the number of employees or perhaps the number of machine hours, you know, a simple way to do this would be the PI equals the MPV divided by the amount of the resource used. So say the number of employees a project requires or the number of, of machine hours a project requires or the amount of land that a project requires. And of course we'd rank from high to low. Let's look at the following example. So we have three possible projects with potential MPVs calculated and we have the number of engineers used for each project. Now let's suppose that we can't do all the projects because we don't have 120 engineers. So how do we solve this? We would calculate the PI for each project, which, just, which would just be the NPV divided by engineer, engineer's use. Excuse me. So for project A, the profitability index would be the NPV of 5 divided by the 20 engineers used, which works out to be 0.25. So in other words, the project creates 0.25 dollars of NPV per engineer employed. So that would be the best one here. Once you do the other two, we see the rankings. And we would actually rank this from high to low, which would be A, B, C. So if I was funding these projects, I would start by funding Project A first, and then whatever money's left over would go to Project B. And not in this term, money is actually engineers. So I'd put all my engineers in Project A, and then I'd keep going into Project B till I run out of engineers. Now the pros of this are, it's a good rule to use when you have a constrained budget somewhat easy to understand and it also is consistent when the projects are independent. The con is once again when projects are mutually exclusive you can have scale issues you have some of the same issues that we had with IRR before so if you have mutually exclusive projects a lot of times just go with the MPV rule and ignore the other two.